Hi, my name is Natalia Ouellette and I'm an attorney here in the state of Florida. And today I wanted to talk to you about partitions. So partitions are cases governed by chapter 64 of the Florida statutes. And you're probably wondering, what is a partition? So let's say you own property jointly with somebody else. It's an ex-boyfriend, an ex-husband, you guys were left behind with a tenancy in common. You have a business partner that acquired the property with you at a foreclosure sale, whatever it might be, you have common ownership with somebody else, joint ownership with somebody else. Um, and they disagree with you in terms of what to do with the property. They disagree with you in terms of renting it, selling it, whatever it might be. And you need help to get yourself out of the property, get your money back out of the property, get your interest out of the property protected. So that is what a partition suit is for. So a partition suit works in this particular way. An action for partition is filed, and uh, for the most part, so many kinds of properties are considered indivisible, like for example, a primary residence in a neighborhood is not going to be considered something that you can actually partition into different uh, kinds of, of lots. So in an action for partition, uh, once a judgment for partition is entered where the judge has decided these are the interests of these particular parties, what happens is either a group of three um, people is appointed to, if the, the parcel is determined to be something that can be divisible, and they make the assessment using a survey, etc., to divide the property physically between the parties that are entitled so that each one has an interest relevant and weighing about as much as whatever their interest is on title. For indivisible property, the court, the judgment, would appoint either a general magistrate or the clerk of court to hold a sale, like a foreclosure sale, um, in which the property is listed, auctioned for sale to third parties, and whatever the proceeds are of that sale get distributed equitably based on the ownership interest of the parties to those parties, uh, also covering their attorney's fees, costs, taxes, insurance, whatever has been um, undertaken and expensed to protect the property interest during the litigation um, and also throughout the prior prior to the litigation whatever costs were outstanding to protect the property such as taxes so that is what an action for partition is for and ideally parties get together beforehand consider mediation, arbitration, just generally sitting down between the parties to see if they can resolve their disputes, to see if there are ways to avoid getting to the point of having to litigate, appoint a judge, appoint a general magistrate, or appoint a group of three individuals that are going to decide how it's gonna be parceled out um, because you know it can be very expensive. So I wanted to provide that as a heads up for all of you investors out there and generally for people that own property um, with other people. Good luck out there, everyone.